We're Paw, a small independent pet products company in San Francisco. We're dog lovers, designers, and tinkerers. Bored with the fetch toys we saw in stores, we set out a couple years ago to reinvent the fetch ball. We started by looking at just about every dog toy we could find on the market. We made hundreds of prototypes, from silly, to intimidating, to downright weird. And after tons of testing and user feedback, here's what we've come up with. Portobello, the wild mushroom ball. The stem makes for high erratic bouncing that dogs go crazy for. Goofball, the protruding ears give it real life and minimize bouncing so it doesn't go too far. It's fun for big dogs and smaller dogs alike. Stickball, part ball, part stick. Stickball doesn't roll, so it's great for space-constrained areas. The arms are perfect for dogs who love to play tug. All three balls fit perfectly in ball throwers like the Chuck It, and they're insanely durable. We worked closely with a leading U.S. rubber company to create a material that was non-toxic, incredibly tough, but very soft. Play is a huge part of a dog's life, and these balls will help make your dog happier and more engaged. The Paw Balls. It's a whole new ball game. Hi, my name is Kristen. I'm Dave. And we are the creators of Cubal. Sometime last year, I was mentioning to Dave how annoying it is to constantly having to be scrubbing away at the slimy layer at the bottom of our dog Chavi's water bowl. But no matter how much elbow grease or soap I was using, it was so hard to get rid of that slimy layer and it would basically just grow back the next day. So as a microbiologist, I was surprised to learn that actually one of the dirtiest places in your house is your dog bowl. So how does this happen? Well, actually in a dog's mouth, there's billions of bacteria. So as the dog licks the bowl, it inoculates the water and forms something called a biofilm. Now a biofilm is a matrix of bacteria and that could even include fungi or viruses that are potentially pathogenic. So one of the properties of copper is actually what's called the oligodynamic effect. And this is something that stainless steel doesn't have. This effect can actually destroy biofilms and prevent their formation. The use of a copper dog bowl prevents the transfer of harmful bacteria if you have multiple pets. And the bowls look great too. I have a background in microbiology and business. I knew that certain metals such as copper, silver, and gold destroy bacteria, fungi, and viruses on contact. And I thought this could be the solution to the slimy bowl problem. 